Let's look at some of the scoring and notation enhancements found in Cubase 11. Cubase now offers Smooful font support. This allows us to immediately use the fonts that are used in Dorco. So if I wanted to switch from my legacy, classical, or jazz fonts, I could change to my Petaluma font, or even to the default Dorco font, Bravura. So now I could have consistency between the look in Cubase and the notation in Dorico. A new properties inspector has been added, which can be accessed by clicking on this icon in the upper right hand corner. If nothing is selected, we could see our display quantize value, different staff modes, as well as staff presets. The beauty of this is we can now have kind of a context sensitive functions. So if I select a clef, we could change the clef. If I wanted to select a key signature, I could change the key, a bar number. If I wanted to change the chords, we could have the same chord definition dialog from the chord track. If I wanted to come over here to a bar, if I want to put in different bar lines or repeats, change the dynamic symbols, as well as changing notes, we could change the note head shape or even change the size of particular notes so that the note head is scalable. So all these context sensitive functions just directly by clicking on the event itself without having to do any menu diving. Sometimes when editing music in the notation editor, you may want to utilize different techniques often used in key editor to adjust the length or velocity of notes in a graphic manner. And often you have to leave one environment to go to the other to do that. This has been simplified by the new overlay editor, which we could access from clicking on this icon at the top. Turning that on, we can now hover over different measures and we see kind of a graphic representation. So if I wanted this to be below, we could click on the little arrow, that information will go below or above the save. Clicking on V allows me to adjust the velocity. So instead of having to go to a key editor, I could just hover over and say, I want less velocity on this note and more velocity on that note. There are two different length adjustments that could be utilized. We'll see one for M and one for D. M actually changes the length of the MIDI note message and D will change the display. So I will go ahead and select some of these notes and I'm gonna click on M. And if I wanted these two notes to last for the six, uh, for the six eighth notes in the six eight measure to last to the end of the bar, Clicking on M, when I go to look at it, we will just extend those to the end. We see that the notation has changed to reflect it. And if I close my score editor, we can see that these two notes have been changed in length versus the other notes. We go back to our score editor. I'll undo that change. And I'm gonna click on the D and this will actually change the notated display, but not the actual length of the note. So let's say I, I want these only to last for the first three eighth notes. I could now just adjust accordingly those two notes and that could clean up the notation. But when we look at it in our score editor, these notes haven't changed from their original length. So as you can see, with the new enhancements for the notation in Dorco, not only can you make it look and sound beautiful, but the workflow in editing with the new properties inspector makes it so much faster.